good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. It's the Daily Vlog. So if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. That was, wow. in fact, an intro by our collection of plants. That that's, is, that's, that's how I am. That's our new intro. My, the way my head looked just a second ago, I looked bald. Look, look at the hair, the hair on the side of my head looks extra short. I need a haircut. <clears throat> Did you, you already said we're so glad you're here and all that the good The plants stuff. did. That's our new intro. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Another home vlog tonight. Yes, I made some strides today at work. Feel better. Um, looking to get a little bit more of that coating done, though. Yeah, then I'll feel good. And I think we decided I'm gonna call Geek Squad before I go to Best Buy. Do you think they're still open? Maybe. Best Buy or Geek Squad? I think Geek Squad is an 800 number, so hopefully okay. it's still good. So maybe they'll be. I know that they're still up. at Best Buy, but I don't know if those are the people. We're gonna be able to call Geek Squad at Best Buy. And like, can you look <laughs> up our account? Yeah. I just don't know what we're going to do if we don't have the insurance. Because I'm fairly certain the insurance might have lapsed in October and I never checked to, to see about it. purchasing new insurance. But if we have to pay for it, that could be expensive. It's worth it. It's worth it. Let's show dinner. Okay. This is soup a la Edgar. <laughs> I'll put the link to the, um, the recipe I use. <laughs> Peter's bowl is full. He the put rice full. in I put his. rice as the base of my soup. Got my cinnamon coke. So he's yeah, making, making a... A little barbecue quinoa spinach salad. It's kind of a lot of dressing. And per usual, she's begging. She's waiting for something to drop. Nothing ever drops, she's Eve. She's got her ice cream. That's right. You yeah. made it. When did you make it though? Because it's supposed to freeze for five it hours. It did. It was done at 5.30. I'm going to try it. <laughs> it's dog food. I almost got, I almost stopped at home. I almost stopped on the way home to get us ice cream in hopes that you made Eve ice cream so we could all have a little ice cream well, social. we live in a neighborhood let's, now. No, 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 let's, let's, oh. What? Let's order Jeffrey's Joffrey, Jeremiah's. Jeremiah's. I want ice cream, not Italian ice, though. Mm. We have to go to the store anyways, because I need um, vitamins. I can go. <laughs> He's so happy. It. This couch is great and all, but the two comfiest spots are so far apart. <laughs> Look how far apart we are. But they're the comfiest spots. Peter's been working, working, working. We have Elf on. Um, uh, should I announce our new yeah. baby nephew? Um, Christina had her baby today. Um, she has been in like pre-labor for a couple of days and yesterday she went in um and yeah so our newest nephew was born at 9 32 this morning central time his name is john luca benedict sicard and it's going to like they're going to call him luca for short so that is super super exciting Just number eight. eight yeah it's our eighth overall um so that's nice he'll be there fresh as a daisy when we when we go for Christmas um but I spent a lot of time FaceTiming them while Peter started working um my older sister Jenna was there and it was nice I got to just relax with them he's like super chill and quiet and just a perfect little newborn baby um but I'm gonna go to Publix get us some ice cream was there something else we wanted um, all the snacks in the world. All the snacks in the world. He's hard at work. Hard. at stressful work. Trying to, to get together so we can get out of here. Because if you know Peter Brookhart, you know he's got cabin fever. Well, I've basically been in the same spots forever. Wait, your phone died walking into Target? Yeah? So you didn't get to vlog it? Nope. Oh, the struggles of cell phone vlogging. I just made a sweet part of my automation that's bug detecting. Not like insect detecting, but like error, error detecting. What did you get? That's for my birthday. for my birthday? Can I have it now? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to like have something for you on your actual birthday. I want it now. My birthday is in four seconds. Ooh, we're eating chocolate with ice cream. Ice cream, chocolate dip in ice cream. We were running low on this, so I got that. What she said is oatmeal, because this is what I eat for breakfast and lunch. 
don't know if it's for your birthday or now. Kite Hill Dips? This is for my birthday? It's just like a birthday treat. It's oh, it's a, a ranch dip? Yeah. I think we should have a movie. Wait, this is your... They've got fancy prenatals with Wait. natural aesthetics. Did you forget it? Do they put it on top? Saying, eat this now. Yeah? That's okay? No, it's not. It was three chocolate bars for $8. Call the Target. But you got delicious snickerdoodle cashew milk. And, oh, I love Oatly. Oatly chocolate milk. So Sarah, check the car, there's no bag, so we might call the Target to see what's going on. But I wanted to show you that the results were posted on the website, on the race website for Daytona 100. Tomorrow they'll be put on ultrasignup.com. Um, so here's my bib, here's my name. See, Courtney beat me. So I might email them, but I don't think it's the biggest deal, but my actual, my Strava app was 529, not 539. But Courtney was 513, and the next one was a 651. Doug. So there was number one, number two, number three for the 50k. But you can see there was only, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were 10 participants for the 50k, ranging from five hours and 13 minutes down to eight hours and 54 minutes. It was a great time. I loved it. Okay, here is Eve's ice cream. It looks interesting. I really don't think Peter should try it because I think it's truly dog food. Um, but it's got to thaw for like 10, 15 minutes. Eve wants it now. She's even sitting like a good girl. So for her size, like her size, um, it's just like one spoonful is a serving. Is that okay? Stick she's going to devour size, right? that. And then she's going to think she's going to eat our ice cream and she's going to be <laughs> so obnoxious. Also, good news. The chocolate bars have been acquired from do not like <laughs> that is one of our food. ready that's for you one mississippi two mississippi we're supposed to be eating ice cream all together as a nice three. cream social three mississippi four mississippi five mississippi Okay, she's taking longer. Yeah, so the chocolate bars have been acquired. We just have to go pick them up. I don't know if there's another human that would go out of their way to go back for chocolate bars, but... Sarah Brooke, yeah, I would. Priorities. <laughs> Is it time for chips and dip? Yeah, I'm a little hungry. Um, are you enjoying Queer Eye? I wish I captured your smile you just had. Maybe I did. Yeah, we love cute. Queer Eye. And we just... I haven't and I watched. Want to Japan so bad. I have not watched this new season. Have you? I love Japan. Japan. Visit Japan. Sponsor the YouTube channel, The Broke Up Project. The whole country of Japan. Visit Japan. I'm at the cinema. Oh gosh, visit I just Orlando. zoomed in and said about. Like how there's a visit Orlando or visit Nashville. Is there a visit Tokyo? Maybe. Call us. What do I mean? Just relax in here. But I'm going to show you this fancy big newspaper style Your 2020 Guide to Membership Magic for DBC Lounge. Or, I ruined it for DBC. <laughs> to me, they have all kinds of cool stuff about Galaxy's Edge and Riviera and all this stuff. The most important thing that this confirmed that we already knew because we have friends on the inside. We don't have friends on the inside. We have friends that work on the inside that love us and told us. Right, but like it's not like we have friends who secretly work for DVCs, like we've made no, friends no, with about, the DVC one, cast members. One of the lounge cast members that knows us because we go so often, the DVC lounge is staying to, through 2020. Woo! But I mean, the other stuff in here is cool. Stay cool. Let me show you this cool, the, uh, the center. Look at that beauty. These are all the Moonlight Magic dates with that beautiful castle. Once wow. again, maybe we'll get into one Moonlight Magic in 2020. Because I think we only got into one Moonlight Magic in 2019 by ourselves. I just realized that Tyler's present is in the background of the vlog. Hey, tell me it's Tyler. We got there for you in Chicago a week and a half ago. We're going to see him on Friday, though. We're going to see him on Friday, and we're going to give him that... We should do the Skyliner ball. with him. We should. I'll, I'll text him. Our little nephew born today. 
I have seven comments in with this birthday. December is packed with birthdays. Alrighty, December 10th. Someday everything will make perfect sense. So for now, laugh at the confusion, smile through the tears, and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. Harriet Morgan. All right, thank you guys for sticking around with us for these past two days at home. Yeah. But we are going to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, with Chelsea tonight, and- When you're watching this tonight. Yeah, with Chelsea and Cole, which is so much fun because like rarely do we see them. Let alone do Disney stuff with them. Yeah. And do Christmas Disney stuff with yeah. them. Yeah, so it's cool. like, and it's like we, the first time we ever did Christmas here was with Chelsea, so it'll be fun. Yeah, so Sarah's probably gonna drive me to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She's gonna pick me up so we can go straight to Magic Kingdom right after work. Yeah. Super exciting. It's good to be home. It's Wait, good to be home. progress on, do you feel good about your work? Yes. Yeah. Still not done. No, but you feel good. I feel good. I feel good enough to go out tomorrow. <laughs> You feel good. You're supposed to smile when you feel good. Smile, Ethan. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta find that clip and maybe we toss it in there. If I said it's all downhill to the finish, would you believe me? No. Smile, Ethan. <laughs> From one of Peter's running videos. Guys, we haven't confirmed it yet, and I'm dropping this on Sarah. What? I'm, I'm doing a 50 miler in 2019. 2020. 2019 got only a couple weeks. Yeah. And I was already putting it in some people's ears to travel with us. Ooh. I don't know if you saw that in Victoria. Oh, no. <laughs> I was also talking to Carolyn outside of our Earhart, our Heart to Heart mm -hmm. group. I was talking to Carolyn outside of it about potential races near Iowa. That's where the Earharts live. So yeah. I was like, what if we went? Because regardless, I need it would have to be like summer or later because I need to get that kind of training. And when we do our IVF transfer in January or February and it's gonna be successful and gonna be great, Sarah may be, be to do too pregnant own. to be crewing me on my own and I will need a full on crew for, regardless I probably need more than just you, you for the 50 it. miles. You already feel great. Yeah. yeah, I was actually supposed to go on a run today but I didn't, but I'm going to run around tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be home. Put, put a comment down below if you know of any good 50 milers near you, preferably Midwest to West Coast middle of the year to end of year next year. Good to be home. Thanks. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>